Hi guys, today we're going to set up Gmail to be used with any domain that you have. Um, for some of the sites that I set up, I actually um, want an email address that isn't my personal one or isn't from one of my other businesses. Um, so for example, you know, you want to uh, you want to use Gmail to access your info at mywebsite.com. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to Google and type in Google Apps. Don't ever choose the first one because that's a sponsored ad. Go ahead and choose the second one. Google Apps for Business, the official website. Scroll down, choose the free one, and then get started. And then you type in your domain name. And don't put in the www please. That, that just ruins the way this works. So put in your domain name without the www dot. Click on get started and then fill all this stuff out. So type in your regular, um, you know, email account. And yeah, you gotta type in a phone number because I think they call you. It's been a while since I've done this. Make sure you check the box. Choose a business type. Uh, business, sure. Select a size. Answer all the questions. And then click on continue. Now here's where you want to type in your the email address that you want. So I usually just go with info and then I use, you know, LastPass to generate me a password. And then you gotta type in this stupid captcha thing, which uh, I can never do. I would never make it in the decapture decaptcha business. Anyway, read all that crap and then say um, I accept continue with setup. I'll probably have to come back because I probably typed this word in wrong. And this takes a little while. They're laughing in the background. Anyway, um, this is a pretty simple setup. So, yeah, I guess I should have logged out first. So this part is, is just basically completing the setup. Um, We'll just go through the steps, see what's going on here. I think you can pretty much go with all the defaults. They've changed their setup a little bit, so um, this is a little unusual to me. Um, but we can just go through the, the steps here. Um, it's pro I think the one that I usually um, use is add a meta tag to my site's homepage. Oh no, actually it's upload an HTML file to your server. This is actually very easy. So you down, go here and click on, under the instructions, download this HTML verification file. And just save it. Go get it. I usually just uh, move it to my desktop because it's easier to find. and then go back and you want to upload it to your website so I fire up FileZilla get that bad boy going and then you're simply going to upload that file to the root of your domain that you're trying to set up your email for Anyhow, we're back. Um, it just so happens that uh, my uh, web host was down, had a minor hiccup, I guess. So go find, um, you know, your public HTML folder, and then go find your domain, and then go find your file that you just downloaded from Google, upload it. And it should be there somewhere. It's 
Let's refresh it just to make sure it's there. Uh, try again. There it is. And then go back to Google and we can check this. If, oh, nothing there. Okay, my web host apparently still is down. But anyway, I know the file's there. The next step I'm going to do is not going to help, um, or is not going to be very illustrative of, of how this works, but um, when I click on this Verify button, Google will go, it will see this file, and it'll say, cool, you are the owner of that domain, everything's hunky-dory. I'm going to pause again, and be right back. Okay, so let's click on that link. Oops, I clicked it twice. There it is. There's the text, so you know it got uploaded. Click on Verify. Google goes out and does its own little check. We're good. Then, um, sorry about that. Now we can go to Email. And you can type in, you know, make this work however you want, but there's really nothing you have to have to do here, actually. Um, so here's my username and it's an administrator account and what we'll do is we'll just verify so we're gonna sign out we're gonna sign back in of course I don't remember my password let's hope it was that one and we'll save it I use uh, a couple different programs for saving my passwords because Otherwise, I don't remember. And there we go. Now we can go to the inbox. There's my email with all the, you know, canned emails that Gmail, the Gmail t team sends you. I just get rid of those. And then um, in the next part, I'll actually show you how to forward this to your Gmail account. All right?